Hey, it's Jill from Glimmerbug. Today I'd like to show you a little tour that's updated in my shop with some new items and Christmas is all set up. So let's get started. It's pouring rain out, as you can see, inside of the shop. So I'm not going to show you the outside, but today is inside day and we'll start with some cards. I've got all of my Christmas cards out. They're all handmade. Everything in my shop is handmade by yours truly. So I've got Christmas cards, winter cards, I've got birthday cards, baby cards, just because cards, wedding cards, everything's handmade, blank ones, and I've also got sets of cards, like down here, they're little sets, so you could always buy a couple. They're great for stocking stuffers and that kind of thing as well. My art wall, one of my art walls has all of my artwork with a lot of different pieces. I add to it regularly. There's some Christmas ones. Down here, the um, little journals, these are little handmade journals with pockets and some more canvases, all mixed media, all colorful and fun and pretty. And they vary in prices. There's a 4x4, 6x6, 8x8, 9x12, all different sizes too. This is my little hand sanitizing station. And Christmas tree is up. All of my handmade ornaments are finally up. Everything is handmade or hand painted, hand decorated by me. While the kids are at school, this keeps me busy. No little sheep. Lots of fun new ones this year as well. And they they range in price. They go from anywhere from three dollars up to twelve to fifteen, based on how long it takes me to do them and how um, detailed they are. Look at that little Santa. He's so cute. And there's some little hand, mini hand cam, hand, <laughs> mini painted canvases, hand painted canvases, snowmen, birds, gingerbread men, Santas, little fun sayings, beaded ball things. This cute little guy, isn't he sweet? So a bunch of different ones this year. There's a little snowy owl. I have several of those. Over here, I've got some, there's my shadow, um, some handmade houses. They're all different. There's green and red and blue and white. Various little, oh, come all you faithful, happy holidays. They're cute to put on a package topper as well. We'll start at the top over here. So there's some more, some more of my paintings. These are a little bit bigger. All flowery pretty. I've got some little little ornaments, little snowman ornaments, some hand painted little buildings that are ceramic, more buildings, these little um, little trinket boxes, they're little wood blocks decorated with little snowmen and Santas and and that kind of thing. They're really cute to put on a windowsill little snowman trees. These are spools with decorative little elements for the holidays on them. All different. Lots of fun to, to make. There's some more little houses. Again, they're all hand painted. Ceramic. Cute little village. I like to put around a um, base of a little mini tree or something like that. Here's some larger trinket boxes that are, whoops, um, they're a little bit bigger and some handmade angel ornaments in the back. Those are all recycled angel ornaments, by the way. I teach those in an online class if you're interested in checking those out, how to make those. Some more little houses. These are more ornaments that are owls. I love owls. This owl in particular, this is a blind owl. His name is Zeus. 
and I just thought he was so gorgeous, so I had to put him on an ornament. But who doesn't love owls, right? And snowmen, I just love snowmen. They're so sweet. So I do a lot of things with snowmen. These are magnets. Little mini canvases. So they're, they're really sweet, they're fun to do. These are thread spool Christmas trees. These are ornaments. Each one is unique and different. They're a lot of uh, they're a lot of fun to make, and they're all different, all unique. We've got a little ceramic Santa and a Santa's toy shop. A little three D, again another recycled scene. That will be a class coming soon. We've got some little snowman ornaments. We've got, that says jams, because the jams are down here. These are all jams that we have made from our fruit in our yard. We have grape and blueberry. There'll be blackberry added pretty soon. I gotta get to making that again. These are uh, pins and ornaments, uh, pins and magnets, sorry. All different snowmen hand-painted rocks. Those are great for like teacher's gifts, gifts for a bus driver, small paintings, large paint, well, they're not too, too large, but they're, it's so you can tell which one's which. And then some little bird houses and some art cubes and note cards. And then we've got tassels like to go on your purse or backpack. Some hand-painted magnets and ephemera for journaling. These are all handmade journals, decorated journals. Some more paintings. These are a sweet little display of little girls' dresses. A little quadrant, I guess you could call them. I've got some hand-painted wood signs. Various designs. Lots of owls. Lots of little neighborhoods. The neighborhoods over here, those can be customized with welcome or town name. They're each $12. Some more paintings. These are uh, flat canvas panels that can be framed. Some ornaments, wood slice ornaments. Little window with, look at all that rain. Oof. I've got some stuffed owls that I've made and some more little small little canvases again cute for a little stocking stuffer or a teacher's gift or neighbor some tinier little ornaments these are some uh, artist uh, they're like trading cards those are all owls this right here is a gift card holder. It's all made out of recycled materials. So you could stick a gift card into each one and then close it up and tie it up and send it to somebody special. Some more pretty rocks that have been painted and some clay miniatures of gnomes and birds and things. More paintings. These are um, tins that are filled with a bevy of paper flowers that you can, let me see if I can even get it open, it's hard with one hand. See that with all different flowers you can use on your art projects and it comes with the tin that's also hand painted. Some more magnets, some wooden picture frames. These are some original watercolors and mixed media that are ready to be framed. And then I've got some bird houses here. Those are more indoor bird houses. I wouldn't put them outside because I fear that they, they would get ruined. They're not super, super weatherproof. And then I've got these cute little ornaments that I've hung from my screen they're all different it's kind of hard to see because it's kind of dark dark and dreary day with a little Santa and they'll have little beaded ephemera hanging off of them that's a 
This is a pineapple. Cute little snowman. They've got some sparkly German glass glitter on the outside, so they're very, very sparkly. He's so sweet. I love him. Another little snowman. So yeah, as you can see, I love snowmen. This is the shop from the front corner, so you can see how everything is laid out. So it's it's smaller in here. Um, for social distancing, it's it's better to do, you know, I have to be in there, obviously, but, um, you know, one or two people at a time can come in, like two, as a group, meaning a family or, you know, somebody that you are quarantining with. Um, and I'm also open by appointment, so if you go onto my Facebook page, you can book an appointment to come and shop so that you don't have to worry about crowding and social distancing these days. So this will give you a, a little better view of how the whole shop is set up. And I would love it if you would stop by or drop me a line, make an appointment. Most of my things are available in my online shop, but I have so many ornaments that not not all of them are listed, so if you are looking for something or have um, a gift in mind that you need and would like to come by and take a look, that would be awesome because I, can't, I just, there's so many of them, I can't even list them all. So that's my shop today. I'm all set up for Christmas and drop me a line, either email me or hit my contact form on my website and set up a time on Facebook to come and take a little shopping extravaganza. I'd love to have you come and see all of my art and fun pieces and supporting local artistry is also fantastic. I'm located in Harvard, Mass on a really pretty country road and I'm always here because I don't leave the house because of quarantining. <laughs> well not quarantining but I prefer to stay home during this whole COVID thing. So I would love it if you would stop by and do a little shopping for your holiday needs. This is fabulous gifts for everybody. And I will look forward to seeing you this holiday season.